Four more years. 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 <laughs> We're never getting out of Watto. Never, ever, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the Rose Gold Podcast. This is <laughs> this is Reddit Sephiroth, also known as Zach, and I'm Polly Pete Works. <laughs> so, uh, it and when I talked about Chapter One Thousand One Hundred and Three, I made this big to do about Yamato possibly having a cover story because she appeared in the year of the dragon color spread in a new outfit for the first time ever um that's happening now so i was right you all didn't believe in me (laughs) (laughs) look at me yamotaro is real (laughs) yamotaro is real i can't wait for big mom to rise from the ashes with with kaido and then it kind of turns into a kaiju or whatever Minnie was talking about. Great theory, Minnie. I like it. It's happening. Also, uh, I guess the Onigashima plan worked because Onigashima is sitting atop the flower capital, technically. I don't know. But yeah. I hate. Oh, God. No, you know what? Do I want to start beef? Is this what this channel is? I don't know. I, no, <laughs> don't start beef. Okay. I just looked up uh, to the Grand Line, the One Piece OST, so that I could put it on in the background while we talk about you being right. I just want to hear da 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 Um. So yeah, a lot happens this chapter, Zach. A good amount does happen, but I don't know if I said it last week. But I've been saying it in every chat room I can find. Zero percent chance that Vegapunk actually says anything. Believable. Which means this whole to be continued from last week, completely pointless. Hype for no reason. Yes. Baseless. Just baseless carbs. Empty carbs. Nothing. No substance whatsoever. I'm trying to think of a lead in, but my my insomnia is kicking in um so (laughs) (laughs) so uh yeah um look at this funny little guy he's yelling at his subordinates i do like that this will be like this will be the means where we get more vegapunk characterization okay so vegapunk's got a big old mission i've been saying ain't no way that he's actually gonna tell anyone anything this chapter no we got it that, but and then we're giving a ten minute time limit. Which to, I guess add stakes to Egghead? Yeah. Because you know, a buster call isn't enough. <laughs> yeah. The buster call gets worse every time they use it, dude. <laughs> every time. I don't know what it does anymore. Nothing, apparently. Nothing. Uh, and it's just very funny to me that Luffy is holding this giant spider thing back and has Kizaru in his hand like a little baby doll. It's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, giant Luffy could do, giant Luffy is fun. I guess this is just his base form now. <laughs> I well, I mean, he could do whatever he wants, dude. Which um, that I'm concerned. The reason why I'm concerned is because from looking at Saturn, and I think I've said this before, it seems like he can do what the demon guards do, like because they're like two types of awakening. There's like the yeah. So can Luffy do that? Is he just going to become Nightmare Luffy, but Gear 5 version? I mean, Gear 5 is already my nightmare, but... (laughs) (laughs) And, like, you say that he could do, like, the guards, but he still has his wits about him. I mean, yeah, because he's awakened. I guess. He's, like, bestial. I guess that's why he could take all he could that he takes. 
I don't know. I just don't feel like Zoans need to have Super Saiyan 2. Yeah. I, Even though we've already basically gotten that. Like, it's less Super Saiyan 2 and more like Uzaru. Yeah. But like Vegeta Uzaru, where you get you know what you're doing. If that makes sense. For, for most of the time. Because uh Chomper technically does it too, but his I think is the weakest because he needs drugs to actually get to that point. Uh something. But I like the idea that the rumble ball is Chopper's awakening. I like Just that. Let it be that. I like I like awakening through science. That's good. It is good. But who knows? Uh Pizaru? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> uh Loki is our sham. <laughs> I I don't know what the, I bruh. Uh, we have been in it has been nothing but Zoans for what is it? Two arcs now? Yeah. Has it just been two wait? Just Wano, basically. It's just that Wano took a very long time. Yeah, wow. Two arcs, yeah. Yeah, because uh Whole Cake was Paramecius, right? Um, and then we're just giving us more Zoan lore and Egghead. Yeah, more mythical. So, well, I guess regular Zoan lore too, because Kaku and Lushi, but um, yeah, and there's like the Goro say being mythical Zoans makes sense. Yeah, I get that. If if you're gonna put in five new mythical Zoans, eh, if you're gonna give it to them, that's fine. Right. Like they're allowed. Right. <laughs> they can have any devil fruit that exists in the world. They are allowed. Right. But like Kaido's resourcing is weird. Like him getting the uh which I guess I mean SBS came out, which that that brings into another topic. Oh um, yeah, we'll have to talk about the SBS at some point. Yeah. Um that could be next week. Well, that could be next week, or we could do Monster. No, never mind. We could do Monster Hunter. Why not both? Yeah, we can do both. <laughs> I'll make a video about it. And we'll have your thoughts on it. We'll have a whole thing about it. Anyway, um, I had a thought. Where did it go? We were talking about Saturn, the Gorosei having Devil Fruits, Kaido being weird about spreading out his power. Yeah, it's weird that he like had the uh, Yamato's fruit. Yeah, and he didn't just give it to someone. Yeah, because he he had hers. He had a he had a fruit for Ulti and Page One. They stole. Yeah, why do all his kids steal from him? Because <laughs> they stole the fruit too. Because he's a bad father. Yeah, he is a bad dad. And the only child he can't... he's not feeding them. Yeah. Of course, they're stealing food. Yeah. And the only child he, he... taught them to fight before he taught them to eat. I... <clears throat> That's terrible. On the subject of Yamato, what I found um, out that was interesting, shout out to Anthony Isaac on TikTok. Uh, she doesn't use armored hockey in like the way everyone else does. Yeah. Like as armor. She just used the, uh, she uses the projection version. The, uh, Which is interesting. Yeah. The, the Rio uh, and the Rio. Yeah. And then she combines that with Conquerors. So she's kind of like, I guess, like Sanji in that way, because seeing as how she is the daughter of Kaido, her body's just kind of hard. Like him. Yeah. So she doesn't need it, which is like. Yeah, because that's genetic. Right. That's weird. Inter- interesting, but weird, which makes her unique. I see you two are cursed with knowledge. That's a show, everybody. <laughs> Why did you show me this? <laughs> I'm going to be real. S Bunny has a better design than Uta. Yeah, because the hair is white. It's all the way white. Yeah, it's 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 all white. She doesn't have headphones on both ears. So the the asymmetry makes sense. Yeah. Her hair doesn't look stupid because it's down. <laughs> I just found a uh, fan art of Seraphim Muta and it's funny. And the, the accursed rabbit ears are just pigtails. Good. 
It looks better that way. Yeah, because the, the other way's bad. I hate that hair antenna stuff. It's awful. That's a it's bad terrible. anime trope. It's ugh. Bad anime yeah. trope. Bad. It's, po- it's poopy and gross, and I don't like it. Because what are you saying, actually? I know it's like cartoons, haha, but like, why does your hair have feelers in it? Why are there nerves in your hair? It's disgusting. Uh, anyway. Um, right, yeah. Yam- Yamato is hard bodied, yes. Um, and that makes Bro, put him in a Domino's box. Um, yes, it, it's not it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno, yes. Fastest delivery in the West, baby. Yeah. Brother like, Admirals are washed. This is I, I don't know. It's their I wa- mean, them struggling against Luffy makes sense. Yeah. At this point, like this is this is my problem with having Luffy straight up defeat Kaido with big punch. Yeah. Because what is is, is there going to be a threat anymore? Well, kind of. Uh, big spider is a threat. Yeah. And bringing all five Gorosei at once. Speaking of, I guess for the end of this chapter, uh, I don't think Luffy is going to be able to beat that. No, because. Saturn by himself can resist being transmogrified, which is like, huh? The frisbee comeback is crazy. I, I, wow. My uh, man just goes with the flow. He said, yeah, "Let it crazy." Rip. He, he's. Uh, I believe I was talking with. Uh, well, I wasn't talking. I was lurking and seeing posts on the Digital Borough Discord. <laughs> Shout out to many. Yes. They were talking about Saturn, just like not exactly ha- like, yeah. Saturn like has Tune Force in a way, yeah. Because he he gets all rubbery and ropey when he uses those little spider attacks. Like he can effectively go with the flow, yeah, and interact within the Tune Force nonsense, yeah. Which means they've probably fought Nika before. Very likely. And they know how to deal with this. Very likely. And they are not at all um, jazzed about his can- cartoon antics. Yeah. Which is but they're willing, they're willing to accept the cartoon antics instead of being... You know, they're willing to accept it instead of just being surprised. Right. It was like, oh, I'm a Frisbee now. Well, what can I do? Become a boomerang. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, little magical albino. Like everyone else on the playground. Everyone else on the playground is going, no, that's not how it works. Uh, the power system, it doesn't work that way. You're stupid. Stop making stuff up. Well, the Gorosei are like, well, what about my dinosaur that eats force field dogs? Exactly. Hot Toy Story 3 reference. I picked that up. <laughs> It's a hot Toy Story 1 reference, my guy. What? Oh, yeah. man. Toy Story 3 was a callback. Oh, oh, uh oh. The memory's going. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm misremembering it, which is also very possible. <laughs> that's when that's when Pixar was good, but we won't talk about that. Oh, I'm sad. Anyway, I um, get my, my harmonica. I'll play the sad Naruto song. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, yes. Um, Kizaru on his back, his his classic position in in this arc. It also does make sense, though, that he. It makes sense for Kizaru right now to go like, I don't think I want to fight anymore. Yeah, like I've dealt with a lot today. I just killed Vegapunk. I, I just killed my best friend. Like dog, dog. I I slapped a little girl like sixteen times today. I'm done. I'm so done. Because every time he's like in the middle of weeping when he's on his back. Yeah. But his heart brought darker sunglasses. Yeah, he should have brought darker sunglasses. I will not um dissuade people from dunking on Logius and or the Admiral though, because it seems like um and this could be blasphemous behavior that I'm participating in. However, if you want to see the most out of a Logia, you're chances are twofold. Either it's going to be Marshall D. Teach himself or it's going to be Kuzan. 
I want to say smoker, but that feels like a lie. Well, Teach isn't even a standard Logia either, so. Yeah, he's like a weirdo. <laughs> if you want to see the most out of a Logio, it's really just Kuzan and possibly Aka Inu. Yeah, I mean, Aka Inu is a good j- bet. I hope. I mean, we've already seen we've already seen him, what he can do. Or Matt y- goes toe-to-toe with Whitebeard and shakes off heads. He's a pretty tough cookie. True. Or we can just throw Kosh to the wind and say Sabo. I mean, yeah, there's Sabo. Oh, Lord. The Flame Emperor himself. Do I want to know what's up with these little eye things that that Saturn's got going on. Yeah, like his eyes did change. I guess they're like cow's eyes. Yeah, like they're, they're starting to become like goat eyes or something. Yeah, because uh, what is it? Cows, horses, and goats all have those type of eyes. Mm-hmm. Which is disgusting, but it is what it is. The, the fact that they brought attention to it, too, means that it probably has some sort of significance. Yeah, because you know what's weird? Like, they're suggesting that either he's he's got like some sort of te- telepathic abilities. Yeah. What the other what the other Gora say? I don't know if that's a Dofu thing or if that's like a science thing. Because uh, I would probably say that's a devil fruit thing. I could see it. I could see that it. That feels way more in the realm of magic than it does science. Fair. Because if it's a science thing, then it would be like a, a, a snail. What? Well. And they're just kind of thinking instead of talking. We did have communicators on Egghead that weren't snails. Which was weird. But through thought? Yeah, no, there were head there were headsets, true. Mm. Like, I feel like like Saturn is a big science guy, right? Right, yeah. But when it comes down to the Gorosei, I feel like you should just have things to be like, oh, it's magic. Yeah, just it- have like some crazy unexplainable nonsense. I hope they never explain what the he- what what on earth is going on with this teleporting stuff. Because like it just seems like an ability of him, which makes I mean makes sense because you're kind of I sick. mean is it though like he performed a summoning I mean yeah it's not out of the ballpark for like dough fruits because like uh yeah like, we got dimension hopping dough fruits like uh the door door fruit we got the mirror world with the mirror mirror fruit uh what's the uh, the warp warp fruit can teleport people lost fruit can teleport people when he sets up a room so it's like warp gates are new but they're not new if that makes sense but here's my question Mm. we have the summoning circles right and we have the gorosei arriving because saturn did a thing that summoned them there right who summoned saturn i guess he summoned himself can he summon himself because he went from the ship to egghead Man, the warp warp fruit is uh, I, in the dumpster already. I'm a little bit. <laughs> if this man can summon himself and everyone from across the universe, yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll leave the light on for Van Auger. It's not <laughs> over yet. It's not over because his could be. What's the word for incremental? Yeah. So it can like affect maybe like other things on a smaller scale, whereas. Uh, Saturn has to make it like this big grandiose entrance. It's like specifically yeah. for teleportation. Sp- ah, specifically for transportation, which I guess transportation has been a big thing in this arc because we have Kuma, we have uh, Law was in this arc, Van Aga was in this arc, now Saturn. So, yeah, I- Jimbe failing to take the wheel. <laughs> Jimbe <laughs> failing to transport. So yeah, I mean transportation has been a big thing. So I or a theme, I should say. So I I can dig it. It is amazing if you think if you think about the idea that transportation is a theme of Egghead. Yeah. And Jinbei the helmsman has done nothing. <laughs> nothing. We've had giant robots um, being transporters. Uh, technically, Lilith has been more of a helmsman than Jinbei this entire arc.
which oh and Vegapunk has too because he had his little dune buggy so wow I don't know I want to say the summoning circle is a Delta fruit power specific to Saturn though I don't know because that means it's probably a devil free power yeah but we don't know if it's specific to saturn because it because that's the thing too like hmm I, I think i said something about this a while ago like it could be possible that oh they're physically oh hello we have a a uh a actual chatter this time yeah oh cool so Saturn went there physically, but there's a summoning circle when he got there. Oh, hello, Minnie. Minnie. Oh. <laughs> hello, Minnie. We have Minnie's alt. Oh, God. Biggie. Biggie. Biggie Smalls, my guy. Possibly. Baby, baby. Oh. Um. So. Oh, man. Cognitive powers are not here today. Oh my goodness. It's okay, brother. Oh we'll get through it. Yeah, um, magic, yes. Yeah, so magic. I like that the Goros they have magic is my thing. Especially sh- like showing that the science guy does magic is funny. Yeah, because I mean they kind of I mean, I guess Oda is a Renaissance man, so like I guess alchemy is a magic but it's also a science and that kind of ties into the occult which Saturn seems to be affiliated with so I mean it, it kind of all comes together yeah it's still very funny though also can you scroll up a little bit and get that one panel of dress Rosa uh, oh I just want to mention something real quick oh my guys all right hold on Let me... where is it Yeah. Oda. Where was this Rebecca design? Oh. This is the best Rebecca has ever looked. A little bit, yeah, she's wearing clothes. She looks great in a tank top. She do. <laughs> Where was this? <laughs> she was too busy being naked, sir. Yeah, she has to play the part of Gladiator, you see. And how is K- Kiro standing up? I call blasphemy. Well, he can hop around. <laughs> I, oh, Lord. He Lord. did that as Toy Soldier. He could do that as, as regular man Kiro's. That's fair. I love my Rhinoceros Beetle guys here, though. I'm just saying, A, the tank top looks great. Yeah. You don't have to make you don't have to make Rebecca naked. B, oh. she's got cuts and stuff on her. Oh, she's been trained and wear papa. Oh. I like and that, that was more grueling than the gladiatorial combat that she played defensively on and took attacks. True. Because she's got a kind heart. A kind heart. And she's a- got more battle damage than the Coliseum. But I'm I'm not I'm not gonna complain. This looks great. And I wanted to just mention that this looks amazing uh while we're i i agree and um it's nice to see that oda has chosen to draw um this uh how old is she 16 year old she is 16 years old oof well moving on um <laughs> <laughs> uh fusha village is broke y'all they can't afford a visual din din mushi because they're too fat you can't, they're too big. Because they're as big as a person. Look at the one in the Just Rosa panel. It's as big as a man. And thanks to uh, the Netflix live action adaptation, we know that they eat a lot of lettuce. Well, Fusha Village has two problems. A, the Mountain Bandit problem. B, everybody keeps breaking all of their alcohol over Shanks' head. True. Man, Shanks is the bad guy. He, he just drank <laughs> them out of house and home and left. What? Oh. Yeah, we never we never see Shanks pay them for anything. No, he just leaves. <laughs> hey, you know Lucky Rude just drained the pantry. There's no food left. 
big old thing of meat that can feed five people. Ridiculous. He did give them an heir. I, I guess. <laughs> to the Figurland family. <laughs> to rule over them as they are peasants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in shambles. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, I can't wait to talk about the Figurland family. Oh, God. What what on earth was her name? Like Machina or something like that? Machina, yes. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I can't wait for Machina to give birth to a moon-headed individual. Oh, man. I mean, the baby's <laughs> normal, apparently. That's fair. Though, I guess the red hair hasn't come in yet. Could it be? Could it be? <laughs> Could it Could- not be Shanks' kid? Oh, oh, impossible, impossible. Uta will have a little brother or sister. I'm not Woop sure. Slap, what have you been doing? Oh, oh, nah, woo slap. No, nah, woo <laughs> slap. <laughs> Is, can he dodge the allegations? Or uh, the little guy that was hanging around with the Don. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Lucky Rue. <laughs> oh, she be dead. Even worse, Yasop? Yo, <laughs> no way. It's like who is the who is the worst father for Makina's child? Rockstar. Was Rockstar even on the crew back then? No. Yep, it, it checks out. <laughs> ben Beckman. The Lord of the Coast. Okay, we we've gone into the deep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she gives birth to a fish man. Oh my days! He can't. He came in many. Oh oh many. Oh many. Many years ago. And he's causing trouble. All right. Um, I spurred a little. He came into port. True. You Nothing sure? else. Nothing else. They're coming to port. <laughs> um, more importantly, who is coming into port is Tyrannosaurus Baby. He's in the chapter. My love man. It. Love it. Love the little baby mouse. It's great. And um, Iceberg's a child labor, apparently. With his new secretary. Honestly he- based? Well, she's efficient. And she woke him up. Also, this, this man's pajamas. Can we talk about them? <laughs> He's been doing good ever since he lost his entire labor force. I mean, ever since that crazy cat man tried to stab him with his big finger. Also, her name is pronounced Alish. Elite. Oh. Alish. A L I C H E. Alish. Alish. Alich. <laughs> oh, that's a bad name. Oh, yeah, right. She did. Alichu. Something she did like win the secretary competition. That's what the uh, cover story was about. Oh. Yes, yeah, she did. Good for her. Um, and my man Iceberg resisted Harlots and picked the funny little baby. So good for him. Uh, and Look at y- Waffle. Look at my man. I, Waffle's always mogging. Oh, my God. He's so sad. <laughs> And I love how Morgan's is so big pockets rich. He has a television in his ship. Why wouldn't he? He's so big baller. I love I love Morgan's. I oh. love Mo- it's it's big news, brother. It's big news. Big pockets Morgan's. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, he rich. I mean, I could tell from the pants he decadent. Look at him. Oh. But he has yeah, true. He does have a private plane, Minnie. True. Um, I wonder if the Snow Island is where Vegapunk comes from. Baltimore? Yeah. Maybe? Was Baltimore I guess like open with people? I mean, yeah, it's it's a it's like a place that had um that, that scientist guy with the little automatons that went to go to uh, the okay. moon. And he was there. And uh there was that it, it, that's either got to be Baltimore or Sorbet. Sorbet Snowy? No. Was so- it in the North Blue? Oh, North, right. True. North Blue. Huh. Yeah, yeah. 
It's like, where do we know that's in the North Blue? I think this is this the first South Blue image we've ever gotten. I think so, because we've only seen people from the South Blue, not the South Blue itself. Yeah. And it's tropical. Like, is it like a poo from the South Blue? I forget. I think I want to say beigey is, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. I think beige is from West Blue. You're probably right. No, it's Either kid. West or North. Kids from South. And kids from South. I just keep going up and down this entire chapter. And my girl Koala's there. Oh, I love you, Koala. Best. Oh, oh, Dragon has dialogue, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that dialogue. Look at him. A man dot of... bubble, dot, dot, dot. A brilliant dialogue. Brilliant. I mean, let's be honest, though. He is adding as much to the conversation as his second in command, Sabo. True. Sabo following his footsteps, very true. And yes, many uh Morgans does have a uh swing pool in a yacht. He does have that. Because he has to have a bird bath, obviously. Um and okay, uh, even cough, shut up. Why do you have a TV on the island? Why are you rich, even cough? Why are you rich? They own a whole kingdom. True, but I didn't. I didn't expect they no own. T- they own the place. Yeah, but a TV too. Wow. All, all right. I'm not. I'm not a hater. I, I'm just shocked. I mean, they-, they do have the recipes for the most delicious food in the entire Earth. True, and then um, what's his name? The little cat guy. He probably built it. Yeah. Right. So that makes sense. It, it has got connections. Uh, oh yeah, he's even talking Limburg. So that's what so that's the Doctor Vegapunk everyone's to, always talking about. So and that makes sense. He would comment on Doctor Vegapunk because he too is an inventor. I get it. I get it. And there's Bello Betty with the worst design. Man, Bunker was right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> that's stupid. I'm sorry. I, well, uh, having to put a hat and goggles on all of them is stupid. The only one I like is Koala because she makes her look like a driver. Sabo's is like, like Sabo is like the default. Yeah, but why did the Revolutionary Army adopt Sabo's look from when he was ten? I like to think he graduated into being the chief of staff and made everyone wear it. (laughs) <laughs> he, he adopted a dress code. Everyone has to have goggles. Except Kara too, because he's a special boy. Maybe Lindbergh did something with the goggles. They serve an actual function. Maybe. Maybe they uh, give you um, anti, anti-Navy anti vision. I don't know. <laughs> um, you, you can zoom in. Karasu doesn't need that. Yes. Easy face. <laughs> <laughs> Also, for the first time, and I, I, I said this in the video, but I really do mean it. I have been waiting for the Flame Flame Fruit user to do this, and I've been waiting for Kizara to do this. I've been waiting for a Flame Flame user to use Fire Breath, because it hasn't happened yet. And I've been waiting for Kizara to use Laser Vision. He does it finally. Thank you, Oda. <laughs> Ten years. I mean, let's be honest. How often has a Logia been in the story in those 10 years? Yeah. Not very often. No, and I don't... Oh, but Mythical Zealots, those are the rare ones. Those are the... Brother, I I want to talk about this. Okay. He needs to do something fast. Because the moment... Go on. Who needs to do something fast? Oda. Oda? To fill... We need more Logias. Because the last one we got was Karasu. Yeah. We did not have a single Logia in Wano. No. Oh, no. Uh, what's his name? Green Bull. Yeah, that counts. But Karis was after Green Bull, so whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I don't think I don't think we had a single Logia in. Uh, my goat whole cake. 
Oh. Uh, but I think that's allowed because everyone has to have food powers. And we decided the retcon Katakuri is Logia Ness. Yeah, he's a he's another subtype. He's a special Paramecia. Also, there needs to be a uh, subtype for Logia if we're going this way. A special Logia? Or like, yeah, they're solid, like Blackbeard, but they're like metal. I don't just... need... I don't need folders inside folders inside folders. Well, Logias are simple. That's what makes them strong. True. True. Like you get one power set, but the power set can do a lot of stuff. And it's just um overwhelming in its application. Yeah. Yeah. And then you I mean, get Logias have been in the dirt ever since we introduced Pack Ops, but Oh yeah, no. Um Karibo has been detrimental. <laughs> Uh, we love caribou i love caribou i keep saying his name different ways oh man uh caribou is great funny. yeah caribou is great i like his brother too with his ge- the gecko no the um iguana on his head yeah very funny i'm pretty sure caribou is the japanese pronunciation so a lot of people called him that yeah big deer but he's man. named after a deer in my language yes so I win this time, Oda. Woo, caribou. <laughs> uh, speaking of horn creatures, though, man, Saturn. <laughs> I can't get over Saturn. He's so good. I like Saturn a lot. I mean, if the Gorosei were not going to be diplomats and going to be really strong, this is the best way to do it. Yeah. Because not only A, do they have a strong power set, but B, the way that they fight implies things that we can talk about. Yeah. Like, why is he able to keep up with Toon Force this well? Yes. Kaido is the strongest fighter in the entire world, and he was not able to keep up with Toon Force like this. Freaked out many a time. It freaked out against Gear, no, Gear 4 Snake Man, actually. It's like, why can you move like this? Which is interesting. So he couldn't even comprehend Snake Man, let alone Gear 5th. And I like how we are intrinsically putting stakes into Gear 5th. Yeah. By having people that know how to deal with it. Which Which means, theoretically, anyone could unlock that. True. It's not about the power being overwhelming. It's about the power being ridiculous. And you just have to have the power of imagination, too. And that's the inherent weakness of the fruit. Right. Is you being on Luffy's lave uh, on his wavelength. Which shout out to KMDP, because I was t- a member of the Digital Borough. Because we were talking about this, if you think about Gear Fifth in the terms of a cartoon, if like say if someone's in on Bugs Bunny's joke, Bugs Bunny has a harder time trying to get one over on them. Because we were having a conversation about this. So yeah. in this situation, Saturn is like, I know all your moves, Sonia, and he is not phased by Gear Fifth because he's seen it before. He's in on the prank. He's in on the joke. Which is why Eam will have the mythical Zoan, the human human fruit model angry video game nerd. Exactly. The one character <laughs> capable of destroying Bugs Bunny. And then they will take a diarrhea dump in Luffy's ear. Honestly, I'd accept it. I, I would stand up in my chair and clap. <laughs> and then, um, Oh, I can't talk too much about that because I'll reveal how old I am. Anyway. <laughs> Diggity dog, you have you have a show on your channel called Millennials Dealing with the Passage of Time. Oh no! <laughs> it's over. Oh, that is right. Man, it's over. Just like when Kaiba got defeated by Exodia. Man. I forgot is I made that. This is what dying feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gozaboro Kaiba, I know your pain. Oh, Gozaboro! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of the wrong Kaiba! I, I switched it mid-conversation, my bad. But God! Now I'm old! Oh, 
No! Oh. Uh. The future is now, old man! Uh. Oh! Man. Aging in real time. Aging in real time. Took too many of them um, energy steroids. <laughs> Fishman Island. <laughs> yeah, we call them monster energy in the real world. Yeah. Uh, don't drink those kids. They're terrible. But I can't stop. And uh, stay away from Red Red Red, Red Bull is actually bad. But anyway, um, wait, cut that out. Anyway, um, Red Bull is bad until they decide to give us a sponsorship, in which case. True. We Red Bull might just be the greatest drink of all time. It certainly gives me wings. Um, much much like uh oh no one flies in this arc anyway. Um <laughs> just like a king. Yes, by king. Um yes. From Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> Matt, we're just all over the place. I, I'm wild today. I'm wild. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So, great chapter. Awesome chapter. Sanji's freaking out about um the the sigils being on the ground because someone had to say it. Someone had to remind the kiddos that summoning circles are real. Yeah. And I'm th- I'm thinking Luffy's whole uh, mental state has been compromised by Nika because he can't stop doing this eye popping thing. I feel like the eye popping is just a joke that Oda likes a little bit too much, possibly, and he thinks is really funny every time he does it. Oh, like Toriyama with the poop, yeah, yeah. See what what makes me get in the mood for the eye popping gimmick. Is I just imagine Oda, who is an who who is an age of seven thousand year old wizard. He's just sitting there with a pen in hand, just drawing this one image and giggling to himself. I know that feel. That's, and I like that. Yeah, it's true. That's humanizing. <laughs> I mean, Although, like if you get rid of the eyes popping out, Luffy looks absolutely deranged right here. Tr- oh. Yeah, true. He looks like he's an Iron Maiden cover art. What? Well, yeah, that's or a appropriate. Brooke joke. Oh yeah, wait, a Brook joke? Because he his face looks skeletal without eye sockets. True. Yes. I mean, Saturn is performing a metal concert right now, so that that makes sense. He invited all of his homies onto the pizza party. True. Didn't even order more pizza. Unbelievable. Greedy. Ah, oh, no Pizza Hut for any of the old men. I hope the ball one turns into a skeleton. Saturn came in for his free pizza, and he didn't even read five books for the Pizza Hut book club. Unbelievable. Oh, you're hitting me in a place. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I was always reading books because 90s pizza at Pizza Hut hit. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, why does all the fast food suck now? Oh, don't worry. It's only four times as expensive as regular food now. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, no. Donald's used to be a treat. No one wants to cook. We head down to Mickey D's and get yourself a Big Mac. Six-year-old Ballapede works eating this gigantic burger. Guess he was a growing boy. Now it's at least ten dollars for a base Big Mac meal. No, no, it's not. I, I'm re- I'm refusing your reality. <laughs> I, I refuse. Ten dollars, ten full doll hairs. Ten. Oh. I could be wrong. But I think so. Oh, ooh. Because you got to pay for the Big Mac and a uh, diggity dog, those fries. Did you know that McDonald's breakfast, they'll sell you one hash brown for three bucks? No, they don't. One hash brown! Oh, my days. Huh? 
That one I know for a fact because that makes me outraged. But anyway, One Piece. No, wait a minute. The hash browns, so because I used to eat them. What? <laughs> what? Oh, wait, I got a message. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's good. I need to make you feel better. <laughs> Thank you. I, I was I was about to go off, but this made me feel good. I hope this happens. Could you imagine? I just sent, you want to put that on the stream real quick? Uh, yeah, hold on. I just it? sent him a picture of the Gorosei, and they're performing. What was the technique called? The straw, the Big straw Emperor. hat mech? Big Emperor? And diggity dog, it's not like last time where Robin decided to doesn't work i guess throw away her robin decided to throw away her humanity and not join oh, i can't up i'm ah uh, that is what it is ah uh, come on okay uh, now now i'm determined huh? <laughs> yeah i got it yeah there it is yeah boy oh this image rules this goes so hard yeah boy shout out to ready red the artist i guess on uh, if you're on twitter this is for you but yeah this this goes this mocks this goes so hard <laughs> Somebody, cool. somebody took Saturn's face and edited. They edited Saturn's face in that Wano shot of Sanji calling out for Robin. Yeah, <laughs> it's sorrow. It's it's a uh, Saturn going. Help me, go to say chat. <laughs> <laughs> I need a hero <laughs> calling out for a hero at the end of the night. <laughs> Oh no! So okay, uh, uh, cognitive powers help. Um, what were you thinking for the magical animal abilities of these other old men? I don't want them all to be yokai. Well, oh my goodness! <laughs> well. I don't want them all to be yokai because I don't want the world government to be entirely Japanese inspired. I, I want the bird one to be a big chicken. I want to have the the model Sesame Street devil fruit. He can be any character from Sesame Street. I don't know. Good. The other four door. The other four Gorosei are the four Teletubbies. Good. Tinky. And Luffy is the monstrous, evil, terrifying son at the beginning and end of every Teletubbies episode. That's not a children's. That's frightening. It's a children's show, but it's not a show for children. Yeah, this this is analog horror is what it is. Also, the vacuum. Uh, now. <laughs> 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 okay, I Luffy smashing Saturn and Kizaru together yelling now cats ah uh, very Jen Simmons of him anybody get that joke anybody I got it that just made me sad I did it before uh, there we go wait I do it? No. Oh! I can see it. Now, take this cake. Get it! Yeah! 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 Looks like a bayonetta finisher, because that's how she. Finishes off the bosses. She gives him the smooch at the yeah. end. Yeah, very cool. Platinum rank. 
I love this attack. Oh my god. Dude, the... The memes They're great. that are being posted for this chapter are amazing. They're great. So I just took all the Gorosei heads and edited them onto the Ginyu Force. Good. Everybody's talking about pain. Which is not as cool as the Ginyu Force. I will fight you on that as a diehard Naruto fan. Ginyu Force is great. I love Ginyu Force. I like the little green one. Goldo, my yeah. mate. Yes. Because he has four eyes. And I think that's funny. Um, He's just a little guy who can stop time. To stop time and stab you with a big stick. It just goes to show that uh, Dio could not fight Vegeta. No. No, Joe. I'm sorry. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Unless they cheat with uh, his son. A Giorno. But One Piece, yes. Uh, but One Piece. Yeah. I was about to say, we're getting off topic because we're pretty much done talking about everything that happened in the chapter. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say. Um, Yamato agenda's in full force. Four more years. Four more years. I, I can't wait for her to run around um, um, Wano and everyone be disgusted by her acting like their nation's hero. And boo her off the land. And just for many, I hope um, Ulti joins her in her exploits. And I yeah, because like post Kaido. Yeah. What is Wano? A free land. They're free to do what? Is the question. Work in the factory. Oh, that's the wrong. Because they've just been subjugated by this guy for 20 years. Yeah. He destroyed their entire land. And now they're free to do uh, something? Agriculture. Well, I'm just saying you suddenly free all these kind of people. What's the first thing that you're going to expect them to feel? Mad. Oh. They need a scapegoat. Kill all those with horns. If they got horns, they gotta go. Unless Hiori's story was so good that everybody just made, I guess, the, sh the, the Shogun? Orochi their scapegoat? And we don't have to worry about Kaido's son? Yeah. Or Kaido's forces still existing? All these little freaks. These terrible chimeras wandering around. Like Speed and uh, I guess her husband Hamlet. I, I don't know. Did they become an item? No, right? That's did they make did they make a character named Hamlet? Is he a is he a is is, is he a smile? Yeah. Is he a pig smile? No. Oh, it is a coward. <laughs> have a character named Hamlet? Oh, right. I see what you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Well, they're card games, which makes... Wait, that makes it worse. That makes good. it worse! You could have had a character with personality! Well, I mean, he's a giraffe. Yeah, I don't remember the giraffe guy in Speed being an item. I think they were just at no, they were at the festival together. Never mind. Wait, how? Oh, how does that? Oh, yeah. Now I remember Hamlet. Oh, his anatomy is terrifying. I hate that. Yeah, I mean, all the smiles kind of are. Like the one who's like has a gorilla growing out of her back, but she still has got like her human legs. Like Speed got the best of it. She's like the only one who got out of it okay. Yeah. 
It's like Speed, Batman, and uh, Gazelle Man. Antel- Gazelle Man. I was going to call him Antelope Man. <laughs> and I guess. Oh, wait, Alpaca Man, is he real? Yeah, he's real. Alpaca Man looks like a freak, though. Nah, he didn't get. Dobon got mobbed. That's crazy. I mean, guy. most of them, most of them are just like hold them, yeah. where it's just a curse for the rest of their existence. Imagine having to actually feed your tummy, while as well as feed your face. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, that's exhausting. Imagine your, uh, imagine your tummy getting a little bit upset with you, and performing growing attacks oh for the rest of your life oh this if is, it's a little bit hungry this is a, this is terrible. and you just need one more match of overwatch and then I'll go feed you no <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and it's a lion so you can't feed him like normal stuff it has to be like big slabs of meat Holdem's life is ruined. Oh, it's terrible. It's an awful existence. Oh, what about the one that had the gorilla growing out of her arm? Or oh, no, his arm. It was a guy, yeah. Like like a whole gorilla? Like a whole gorilla. His whole arm was a gorilla. I don't remember all the smiles. Me neither. To be fair. Oh wait, poker. They weren't quite as as they weren't quite as impressive as the entire Charlotte family. True, I love the Charlotte family. A Monday, marry me, please. <laughs> Peak mooks. Oh, I love a Monday. Oh, she's my. Um. Well, I guess. Uh, subscribe to Reddit Severoth. <laughs> But while you're doing that, while you're laughing, subscribe to Polypede Works. Bar is open, boys. Don't be touchy. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. I'm going to go pass out. (laughs) Yeah, go sleep, brother. Oh, show's over.